गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो नम वंशाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावन वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरतिषे माय हार्टली ओबेसियंसेस अंटो द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय दीक्षा गुरु स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर नित्य लीला प्रविष्टोंग विष्णु पार्श श्रीमद भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गोस्वामी महाराज and sam in the lotus feet of my shiksha guru om vishnu parshish mad bhakti vedanta swami maharaj all glory to swami ji i know that he has collected you all and myself he had dragged <laughs> so all glory to swami ji no. <laughs> but mali glorify will not do will have to follow his instructions not by mouth only of oh, prabhupad glorious glorious not will do will have to follow his deep instruction in your life then any fruit can come and otherwise Oh, where you were, you will be there. No advancement. That is why Sri Bhakti Vinod Thakur giving some instructions, and we should try to follow. From beginning, I am telling all these things. If you have a little sraddha even. Or you have nista even, ruchi even, but no sadhu sangha, no higher class of association, sadhu sangha, sadhu. Then you will lose your that faith, your nista, your all these things. Even at the time of rati has come, but it is not matured. Oh. There is some doubt. Again, so many offences and unwanted things will attack you, like Bharat Maharaj and others. But I know that you are not in the stage of Bharat Rishi or anyone. Even Nista is there or not. Oh, you can judge yourself by keeping your hands here. But yet we are discussing all these things. That what is our aim, and what, how we can, oh, achieve that goal. So we are telling all these processes. If you are not in process. Even you have so much love and affection, and it is not approved by shastra. Then all things are in vain. Why not? So this is Pancharatra Vidhin Vina. We can't see Hari Bhakti Padayi Vaki Evalam. What meaning? So this Smriti Purana Vidhi Pancharatra Vidhin Vina. Smriti means Veda, and Smriti means Smriti Sastra like Manu Smriti, Harit Smriti, etc. They wrote so many things in their book, and Puran, and Pancharatra means Narad Pancharatra. They have mentioned in their books the goal and process. Without their approval, without their proper process, if you do something by your own mind, by your uncontrolled mind, and if you think. If this is the best process which I have discovered by myself, and by that I can achieve the Krishna Prem. But if you not approved by the Shastra, then which you have kept your idea in your mind, 
it will go in vain and it will make chaos in your mind. One day will come and you will give up everything and you will bound to go to hell without any fail. Hare Krishna. Mm. <laughs> as much as your bhakti will be increased, humbleness, and I am very low, this idea will come. Hmm? If bhakti is not increased, false ego will act there. And if gradually bhakti is developing, gradually your this humbleness, humility, told in sloks, trina, dapi, sunich, oh, all will gradually come. And you will realize that really we are not anything. We have no power. Really we have no bhakti. Then you can realize. And how ignis if significant you are, you will realize then. Oh, Srimati Radhika realizes this. And she tells, I have no, actually no a smell of prey to Krishna. I have not served, I have not seen even Krishna. So only she can tell. And this is the symptom of Mahabhava, very high. So you should realize that you are nothing. Particle, particle. It can, it can be covered at any time by Maya. So, he is telling Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur that if you have even received the Nishtha, you should hear from higher class of devotees. There are two kinds of Bhagavata. One, book Bhagavata, transcendental book which was received by Vyasa in his trance, this Bhagavat, in which all kinds of sweet and very powerful, sweet pastimes of Krishna has been given. But it is in law and key. Who can open? Or oh, that most high class of Bhakta Bhagavat. They have lock and key. Any ordinary Bhakta less than Rati who has received the Rati, they cannot lock in. Unlock. They can lock there. Who has received that Suddha Sattva from any Parikar, eternal Parikar of Krishna? Like Rup, Sanatan, all Sarga Swamis, hmm? Lord Tam Thakur and others, and up to Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Prabhupada, like this. They can open. Hmm? So don't lose the fortunate to hear from superiors. Don't laugh. If your whole business is going down, no harm. If you lose your job in government, what? Government department. Even that is not loss. What is loss? Oh, you have lost your sadhu son. This is. I know so many devotees here especially from India, they don't come. Why they don't come? I know. They have come to make money. So their money is important, more important. But for you, you have left all these things and you have come. So you are most fortunate. So continue this thing. To lose any worldly thing is not any loss. any loss. But lose these things is very 
unfortunate. Anyhow, to please your friend, who is Maya Badi, Karmi, Jogi, Gyani, oh, don't associate with them. Otherwise, yourself you will be Maya Badi. Yourself. So don't be in their association. Maya Badi, especially lusty persons and the friends of lusty persons. If you want to have friendship with high class of more superior than you, and he has some love and affection to you, and swajatiya, like-minded, like-minded. What like-minded? For Paramatma, not worldly thing. What he want to serve Krishna in what way? And he is of the same category. And by hearing this, oh, a steadiness of bhakti comes and gradually it develops. Tatte nukampam susumikshamano bhunjan evatma kritam vipak hridvag babubhir vidadhan namaste jiveta jo mukti padeshadaya bhak. Oh, this is sloka of Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm? Srimad Bhagavatam. Sukadeva Goswami is giving sweet harikatha to Parikshit who is dying. Only three or four days he had. And he is going to die. And here, here. Hmm? So he is telling, Tatte nukam pam, susumikshma. Can you? This verse, Tatte nukam pam, susumikshma, no? Mujane patna. You should hear carefully those who want transcendental bhakti and those who don't want. They should be involved with their sons, daughters, and thinking other things. No harm. They should do. Srila Gurudev, many times he is quoting this verse as most important for the sadhak who wants to achieve the ultimate goal of life. Here, Tatenu Kampan Shusha Mikshamano. Shamikshamano means that. One who is you can come inside if you want. Hmm. One who is awaiting, but shushamikshamano, one who is very eagerly awaiting. And what is that person eagerly awaiting? Anukampam, one who is very eagerly awaiting the mercy of the Lord. That the devotee is performing the sadhan and bhajan, and always hopeful, ashabanda. That when will that day, that when will that day come? When I will receive the mercy of the Lord. And was performing one sadhana and bhajan, then bunjani bhatma kritam vipakam. That due to one's past activities, then so many reactions may come. Reactions coming from um, in the form of problems coming from other persons, coming from the devas, coming from one's own mind and body. So many different reactions coming. But the devotee is enduring all these situations. Bunjani Bhatma Kritam Vipakam. Understanding that I have done something in the past and now I'm getting just a very uh, um, token reaction for what I've done. So even if the reaction is coming through the agency of some other person, then the devotee is not thinking, oh, this person has done this to me. But rather the devotee is thinking, I've done to myself and now my reaction is coming. With this meditation, one is taking responsibility for one's own past activities and carrying the load of one's reactions on one's head. And at the same time, with one's heart, with one's words, and with one's body, 
one is increasing in one's sadhan bhajan and devotion to Guru and Garanga, despite the reactions coming, never hesitating or slowing down, but increasing in one's determination, then what will be the result of this type of activity, where one is not flinching, despite getting the different reactions, which are one's own reactions. They're not coming from anybody else, only from ourselves we have done. Gurudev gives the example, like if you take your hand and you punch yourself. So you do not blame your hand, you know you've done it to yourself. So the reaction may come via so many different agencies, but we don't look at the agency, but we know, oh, I have done this. So one who takes, takes it on, and takes responsibility for their own past activities, then Jiveta Yamuti Pade Sadaya Then the very sweet lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha Krishna, Satchinandan Gora Hari, and especially Srila Gurudev, then they become enthroned in the lotus of one's heart. Very good. Can you repeat? Mula Prakriti. In very easy words. Very easy words. <laughs> that um, whatever happens to us um, coming from the external, we take it as mercy from the Lord that we've earned that, that we deserve that, and that it's favorable for our bhakti. So we pay obeisances to Krishna, we thank Him, and we continue more and more with our bhakti in that mood. It is the mercy of Krishna that these sukhardok. Happiness, and happiness or distress has come. It is... Oh, I will tell a story about this from Mahabharata. Hmm? All kinds of stories are there. Hmm? You know that there was a oh, big battle, Mahabharata, in Pandavas and Kauravas. They were fighting. Pandavas were fighting only for to please Krishna for his order. And Kauravas, they were in the side of Kali Yuga. Oh, Shin. So they were fighting. He was not ready. Durjadhan was not ready to give anything. A place like the Needle. needle. He was not ready. So, battle was begun. Bhishma Pachamah was the commander-in-chief commander in, in Kauro side. And here Bhim or Bhishtadim. At that time, Bhishma Pachamah was fighting so seriously furiously. That is sin, that in a day or two all the Pandav and his all army will be finished. But ten days he was fighting and he could not do anything. Then Duryodhan came and accused Bhishma Pitama, you are my gaunt father. Only for you, I have begun this battle. I know that in a moment you can destroy the whole universe. What to this very small weak in a small fund of us? So I think that you are inner, from inner heart you are partial to fund of us and not to me. Then he, Prisham Pitama told, don't take you with me like this. <laughs> Don't take you. Oh, if you have no belief, then you can send your wife. Or you can come with your wife in the mid time, mid night. I will give a burn to her that no one can kill your husband, kill your husband and, and thus you own, own the battle. So, he became very happy and returned back to his camp. And next day, in the mid-time, hmm, oh, 
he was preparing to come with her, his wife there to Bhishan Pitama when he was in trance, praying something. But by chance it was heavy rain and a storm, more than yesterday, so much. <laughs> so, it was so rain, heavy rain, that he told his wife, Oh, today we should stop. stop. Oh, in rain, um, we will all be wetted and so much uh, suffering we will have to do. So better we will go tomorrow. They stopped for tomorrow. And in the meantime, Draupadi, uh, to Draupadi, Krishna came. Oh, Shakhi, at once you should be ready to come with me to Bhisham Pitamaha. And you should hide your face with your bell and come with me. And there you should be like this. But bell should be here that he should not recognize you. So when uh, they went there and it was heavy, more heavier, heavier and heavier, rain and storm. But anyhow, Krishna took umbrella or anyhow, he <laughs> took Draupadi in his chariot and he went there. And there he sent, alone he was in chariot and he sent Draupadi to go. At that time Bhisham Pitama was in trance and praying Lord, meditating. When she came, and then he anyhow knew that uh, Oh, Durjodhan with his wife has come. Bhanumati, name of the name, Bhanumati, has come. So he opened his eyes. Oh, Bhanumati, oh, you have come. So I am giving bone, you, like you. Pointing to Draupadi. That your husband will. And in the battle you will be. Victorious. Victorious. Your opposite party will be Destroyed. finished. <laughs> then Draupadi took his bell up what? and began to smile. <laughs> <laughs> then Bhisham Pitam, are you, oh Draupadi, how you came? How you who know? brought you? Krishna. Panchali, how you came? Uh, Panchali, how, who, how, how you came here? <laughs> who brought you? Oh, my Shakha. Where is he? In the chariot. Oh, at once Krishna came. Uh, no, no, Krishna came. Chariot. And he did pranam. Oh Prabhu, I know those who have totally tackled, taken your shelter, anyone in this world cannot do anything against him. I know that. How you knew all these things? Oh, you are Supreme Lord. Anyone cannot do anything. So, I am telling, those who have taken fully surrender in the lotus feet of Krishna and Gurudev, hmm? oh, anyone can disturb them. No problem can check them. So be like this and take shelter in the lotus feet of Krishna. You can do what you are not doing. This is the fact. You are thinking that we are doers. Don't think that you are doer. Don't think that I am so intelligent, more than anyone, more than O oh, Swamiji even I am. So many thought like that, Kirtana and so many, and they did so many offenses. Don't do like this. Be humble and be offered to Krishna, or oh, totally. Then you see. Then this bhakti will come. Otherwise, how it will come? Hmm? So, if any problem comes, whether it is happiness or any suffering, yes. oh, you should see that this is due to the mercy of Krishna. Perhaps this is the last. Hmm? Oh, you should abhinandan karo uska. Welcome. Oh, welcome this thing, the mercy of Krishna. Don't be ready with a bum to shoot a mosquito. A shoot a mosquito. Don't do. 
everything is all due to your activities past or here who made that problem for pandava krishna na huh? he introduced them to play gamble and draupadi was given and so many things were done how that i am protecting always my devotees they were given in fire like prahlad maharaj but krishna shaped them poisoned by poisoned by durjodhan but also shaped so if you are like that and doing bhakti always oh krishna will bring his umbrella on and save you as is everywhere so be very bold in bhakti don't be weak don't be weak and practice bhakti yoga and be happy forever and where it is received it is sadhu sang and in sadhu who is supreme gurudev ek bona fire so we must do for a moment we should not wait wait for this don't wait for sadhu sang we must attend and must follow doing pranam to that gurudev devotee who is arranging all these things and the place where hari katha and to hari katha and thus go on then oh bhakti will come even mukti always praying in the lotus feet of bhakti so mukti pade sadai bhai श्रमणं कीर्तन विष्णु स्मरण पाद शिवन मर्चन वंदन दश सखा फॉर प्रिफेस आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट ए न्यू प्रहलाद महाराज ही वॉज एमोंग दी फोर सन्स ऑफ हिरण्य कशिपू हिज फादर वॉज सो पॉवरफुल हिज बडी वॉज made by thunder like thunderbolt thunderbolt he has a boon from brahma that any one in your creation should not kill, kill me i should not be killed in out and in of any house, house. In, day or in, night. in day and night Huh? On the in the sky or on the land? On the land, anywhere, Not and by land. any person, any wild person, a wi- wild wild animal. animal or insect or anything, an I should not be killed. Not, an Not, an Not, an Not in a month, even yeah. month, in a year. Uh-huh. And what became? Not by any weapon. And he was so powerful. Oh, last boy, last son, Prahlad Maharaj. He was sent to Gurukul. In the Gurukul of the sons of Sukra Charya. And when, after some days, when he studied, oh, he came back and his mother decorated him and sent to father Hirne Kashipur. He next Kashipu saw a very beautiful son, like oh demigods, very beautiful, and he pick up in his lap and told, oh, Pralat, what you have studied in your Guru Kul or your school? Can you tell that thing? And then he told, what he told, you should. Pralad Maharaj was asked by his father, "What is the best thing that you learned in school today?" And Pralad, being very honest, addressed his father, "Asurya Vara Dehinam, O best of the demons." 
what I've learned best in school, of course, Pilag didn't learn this from his uh, demon teachers. He learned this from Narada Muni, his real teacher, that Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padaseyanam. This meaning. Pilag Maharaj is telling about the well that the materialist falls into, the well of materialistic family life. Griham Andakupam. Under means blind, a blind well. Somebody may be walking in the forest, like there's so many forest lands here in Hawaii, and he may not see that there's a big old dry well. So, and it's covered by grasses. In Western country, no well perhaps. A ditch. Huh? There are ditches. <laughs> yes. So he'll fall in the ditch, and just before he reaches the bottom, he grabs onto some branches that are hanging over the ditch or the well from both sides from a tree. And he looks down, and he sees that there are very poisonous snakes just waiting to bite him. When he looks up, he sees that on the land, there's a very dangerous, ferocious tiger. And he sees that these branches, which he's hanging on to for his very dear life, have two rats sitting on them. One branch has a white rat, and one branch has a black rat. And both of these rats are nibbling at the branches, so that any moment the branch will break and he'll fall into the well and be eaten by the snakes unless he jumps onto the land, at which point he'll be eaten by the tigers. So his life is very precarious. But at the same time, <laughs> hanging also from the tree, is a big beehive. And from that beehive are, is honey dripping. And the honey just happens to be located in such a place that drop by drop, it's falling every so often a drop falls on his tongue and he's thinking as Gurudev said oh so sweet <laughs> he's forgetting that his life is so precarious this is compared in the Srimad Bhagavatam third canto with the pitter patter of the child's uh, baby's footsteps or the broken words of a person's child or the sweet words of his wife, husband or beloved so we forget how precarious our life is. The white rat represents day and the black rat represents night. The tiger and the snakes represent death and the results of our sinful fruit of activities. So Prahlad Maharaj is urging his father that you're so powerful now, but at any moment death can come to you and you don't know where you're going next. And this is our situation as well. And I just want to make one comment. In 1997, Srila Gurudev gave an entire lecture on this verse, Tateinu Kampam Shusha Mikshamanam. And he said that you should always keep this verse in your heart. He noticed while he was beginning the lecture that some of the devotees were distracted. Some were even chanting silently on their malas. Some were making garlands, some were doing different things and they were a little bit distracted. So he said, this verse is so important that you should open up your eyes very wide and look at me, just while I'm here these few days, and then you can do anything you want. Open up your eyes wide and look at me, open up your ears very wide, and open up your mouth very wide. Why should you open up your mouth? Because as the wife of Vyasdev had her mouth wide open when she was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam from her husband, Sukadeva Goswami, in the form of a bird, flew in. So Gurudev said, Sukadeva Goswami will come into your mouth if you keep it wide open while you're listening to me. And Sukadeva Goswami represents transcendental knowledge. Very good, very good. Oh, hearing this he became very furious. And again he was sent to school. And after some time, again 
he was called. What you had learned from, you. learned from your Gurudev. Again he is telling what you Shamanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Pad Shivanam Arjanam Vandanam Dasham Satkam. What they are giving or myself try to open and take it very seriously. Otherwise you will be what? Come in the grabs of Maya. In this verse, Sri Prahlad Maharaj he is giving us very important instructions and this is as follows. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Saranam Padasevanam Archanam Bandanam Dasyam Satyam Atman Vedanam Iti Kuntha Gita Vishnu Bhakti Shchei Navalakhana Kriyate Bhagavat Tadha Tanmanya Hita Muttamam Prahlad Maharaj is telling that those people who are intelligent who are very wise, what they do, they offer themselves unto the lotus feet of Lord Hari. They perform unconditional surrender at His lotus feet. And then what they do, they hear about His pastimes, Shravanam. This is the very first step. This is how the process of bhakti begins. One must carefully hear to the transcendental sound vibration which is emanating from the mouth of realized souls and thereby he should try to understand the goal of life and the essence of all the Shastras. Then gradually when he hears and continues to hear with attention what happens, Kirtan, he will now be able and qualified to speak about the pastimes of the Lord. As his realization becomes more deeper and deeper, his Kirtan and his remembrance, Smaranam, will also intensify and all these activities will become more natural for him to perform. This is also important for those who are not able to perform it naturally because this is the only way we can purify these propensities. We all have the urge to speak. We all always contemplate on so many material sense objects meant for our sense of gratification or for our selfish purposes. But if we rather try to meditate on the Supreme Lord and about the pastimes and the wonderful activities of the devotees, we can gradually surrender ourselves and purify ourselves. Then, what is next? Shravanam, Kirtam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada, Sevanam. We should try to serve the Lord by visiting His temples and also circumambulating the Dham and then we should try to serve His devotees in as many ways possible as we can. Then, Archan, one should try to perform the arti with 16 kind of paraphernalia or 5 or even more elaborate if one can. Then one should try to archanam bandanam. One should try to offer prayers with deep regression in his heart. One should, as we heard this very verse, Tate no Gampam Susumik Shemanam. Realizing his grief stricken position, his insignificant position, he should try to beg for the mercy of the Lord so that he may be allowed and he may be empowered to follow the practice of bhakti in this difficult time of Kali Yuga. Then, what is next? Vandanam Dastyam Sakhyam Atmanivedanam One should try to become the servant which is our true nature. That's the eternal nature or constitutional position of all the living entities. But because of our forgetfulness of the Supreme Lord and our sweet relationship with Him, we are thinking ourselves to be the masters. So, we should try to become His servant. How can we become His servant? By serving His devotees. This is the only way we can become His servants. He is time and again saying, those who try to serve Me, I may not receive their service. But those who are serving My devotees, I am eternally indebted to them, or I am sold to them. So, this is the most easiest way we can please the Lord. And finally, we should try to, in and out, each and every atom of our energy through our all activities of body, mind and verse, we should surrender ourselves to the Supreme Lord. Then only this process, is, will, this process, this performance will be regarded as bhakti. If one has not surrendered and is trying to do Shravana Kirtan, it is not bhakti. So surrender is first step, gateway of bhakti. 
If you are not surrendered, you cannot enter in bhakti in lakhs and lakh thousand births. So, first you should do it. Iti pun sarkita. But we are not seeing Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Oh, if your Guru is bona fide, oh, first try to learn Sharnagati from him. You should offer in his. Oh, I don't know anything wrong or right. What he will tell, what he will advise, or what he will order, I must follow that. First thing. Without taking the shelter of Gurudev. But when he is Gurudev, hmm? Harinam and Diksha. Diksha means, oh, by that process, Divya Jnana will come. So many devotees are fearing that uh, I should not take Diksha, or should I take? I am unqualified. Huh? I am unqualified. Unqualified are this. All whole world is unqualified. So this is not important. What is important? Hmm? That without this I cannot be happy. So what is the goal of my life? Hmm? By that practice, that process of diksha, anyone can come enter in the realm of bhakti. Without diksha it is absurd, quite absurd. By that process, Hmm? Oh Guru, oh, gives transcendental move to serve Krishna. Without that, how we can enter? Never and never. So no hesitation should be there, no doubt. At once in a moment, they should try to come in process of diksha. By this pro process, diksha, there are two things, di divya jnana transcendental knowledge will come. And if transcendental knowledge is not coming, then how you can serve and how you can be happy? Hmm? So first, Divya Krishna, through Guru gives. And then, Kshā, all kinds of unwanted things, anartha, even endless chain of birth and death, all kinds of your attachment to world, sense gratifications, very easily it will go. Why we fear to come in this process? I don't know. Huh? They are like what? Huh? Swamiji. Uh, Rascal or what? <laughs> <laughs> what should I give you? They are most uh, unfortunate and they are, they have no intelligence, they are like, oh, more than animals. They cannot decide this. So we should decide and go. That is here. Punsang, by this word it has been told. Hmm? And then what became? He became more furious, furious. And he tried to kill him. Kill him. He get so much high class of poisons. Serpents he used, elephants to crush, and oh, in fire he gave. He did what he could do, but he could not do anything. Then oh, thought that oh, this boy very dangerous. <laughs> oh, he can kill me perhaps, and he feared. Then the the sons of Guru Dev they took them, and. They told that, oh, my father is coming, Sukrachar, very soon he will be reformed. So you should give this child again to Gurukul. And he took to Gurukul. And so many things. Hmm? So Bhakti Vinod Thakur is telling. Ahang hare to pad padai kamula daso nu daso bhavitashmi bhuya manas mare asupate gunan angrihi to vak karmukar. Oh, one kirtan. Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Bol. Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Bol. Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari
Now come to me again with me. <laughs> this is Lok Hare Ang Hare To Padaikam. Anyhow, Narsingh Dev has managed. He has told Indra, stop your nonsense. Don't disturb our classes. <laughs> and now, Nursing has ma managed up till now, no, but after this I will not take guarantee. <laughs> oh, rain may come at any time. It may come, we have finished our classes. Eh? Or you want to hear more. Huh? Oh. But it is difficult for me. Not more than one now. We have passed more than one now. Anyhow, we will continue for. <coughs> A devotee, <coughs> pure devotee, surrendered devotee, whether they are in this world or they are liberated, they may be anywhere in anywhere but they will not give up their bhakti because they are a surrender soul. There was a bhakta, high class of devotee. First he was in family life and he was not satisfied his, with his family life. He was a very big king, unlimited wealth, army, everything he has very palace, good palaces, but he was not happy, because no son. And he was thinking, if there is no son, after me who will look after? And who will liberate me by giving obligations? obligations. Oblation. 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 You understand? Yes. In Indian culture, here in these countries or not, I cannot tell, but in India, Oh, when father mother dies, he gives, he makes some ceremony and he offers something that he will be liberated. So who will do? I have no son. If I will have no son, then it, it is due to my oh, past activities. And he was very worried. In the meantime, one Rishi came. What name? Angirarishi. Angirarishi. He was liberated soul. 
like Nardarishi, and he came there and told, "O oh, King, I'm saying, I'm looking you. You are very worried. Why you are worried? Oh, have you not good, beautiful wife qualified? Oh, yes, I have. Your wealth, oh, very good. Oh, excessive. Then why? I have everything, all right, but I have no child." No son. Hmm? So, after me, who will look after this kingdom? And what we will be of this? And I will not be liberated also. So please give me one son. He told that I am very vividly looking that in your forehead, forehead that oh, for so many Seven lives hours. you have no son. Totally not. He told that I know, but I know also that you are very strong personality of person, and you can do anything. If you will tell that a son must come to you, a son will come to me. He tried to last his level best to teach him that by this anyone cannot be happy in this world. Only by bhakti yoga any can. Anyone can be satisfied, and he can be happy. But he was oh, persisting mm. that I want one lesson. Anyhow, you should give. And then what he did? Anyhow, he became his one son, he, he himself, Angiraji. like a son, Angiraji. He he hide his body anywhere, and by very mystic power. Mystic power. He became his son. He told that, "Oh, I will give you son, but that son will be cause of happiness and distress." Huh. He could not understand. He was attacked by Maya, so he could not understand the inner meaning, deep meaning. Oh, he will be against me, no harm. I will go to forest and I will do bhajan. But I want a son, and then he, oh, a son very quickly, a son from his highest class of qualified, most beloved, most beloved wife, a son came by his own, her own, and he was developing day by day like moon, you know, and it becomes full more, or in this way, oh, he is telling. Indra, that uh, you told me only for one hour, and you have passed, so you should finish your class. Better to finish our class, and tomorrow we will do. Eh? Anyhow, what became after that? Oh, after five years, oh, he was very beautiful, son qualified, and the wives, he has so many wives, not hmm? one lakh. One hundred thousand wives. Uh, don't disbelieve. At that time, it was, it was, huh? Uh, so they became envious that now king have so much love and affection for only one queen. One king we had who who has son, and he does not look after us, even for a soap, for oil, for anything, like any. Uh, maid servant, he never talks with us. So better, we should remove this oh, cause, of cause of problem. And they get very heavy, strong poison. strong poison, and in a moment he died. And then all were weeping. There was no anyone to console them. Console them. And at that time, Angira with North Rishi came. They tried to console, but that they were not consoling. At that time, Nara told, "Oh, kept his hand on the. Yes. I'm te telling very short. short. Kept and oh boy, you should get up, get up. Where you have been? And at once he shut down. Where you have been? Oh, your father and mother all are weeping bitterly for you." Then he replied, "Where I have gone, I am very happy. 
there were no chance to do bhajan here now i am very happy there i don't want to be with them i don't know in what birthday were my father mother sometimes i have become also their father mother so you allow us me to go to their fair at a chance to do bhajan then nara told do you want that he should be your son they told that no fair he is happy he should go away hmm? now we have re- realized that without bhakti we cannot be happy hmm? and then he fell fa- flat on the feet of narad rishi and rangira rishi. rishi that you should help me that i should be happy they told that you should take diksha at once don't delay and he took and the narad rishi and angira rishi gave mantra and they inspired them and after that he became realized liberated and then he was here and there by chance he came one day in kalash near shankar and parvati was there shankar was totally naked and his wife very beautiful you know universe miss universe. universe more than that <laughs> no and shankar or oh, naked to- totally naked and took her uh, in his lap in his lap at that time o chitraketu maharaj with biman aeroplane aeroplane not like this in these aeroplanes may be accident oh in that plane no accident oh. it was controlled by only mind oh come down come down oh you should go you should be bigger you should be cold you should be hot everything by mind control so he was and he saw that oh my friend my god brother or shankar is there and he came down and he joked with him oh shankar you are naked and you taking your wife beautiful life and here there are so many rishis rishis bharsi all hmm? so try to control yourself otherwise they cannot digest you parvati became very furious and oh here brahma and others are nor than oh so many sanak sanandan oh they are they have no objection uh no advice to him they are not so bold to tell like this that you told i think that you are guru of shankar <coughs> you are not guru of shankar so i am the giving course and he she told at once you should be a demon demon and what he becomes began to become a demon oh shankar was very much angry to parvati he told that oh you are beautiful and that is why you have false ego you don't recognize the how high class of devotee is he you told her to be like so but he could have been he could have been countered huh? countered but he he satisfied whether he will be in demon or life or anywhere demi gods are anywhere he will be happy but you don't you have not recognized and you have done, done wrong if in return if you have he has given you, uh, given you curse. curse then what you have done so he is more advanced than you and then he was not unhappy by hearing that course and then he became vritrasu and fighting with indra telling indra oh bogas indra i don't want to keep my this body because it is demon body and in this body i cannot have so much love and affection and bhakti for krishna so please kill me and he has thunderbolt thunderbolt in his hand but he could not 
then he is telling this is slow. Oh, he cannot do anything bogus. How he can? And he was hearing these shlokas from the mouth of Chitra Ketu Maharaj. He was thinking, oh, how high class devotee? More thousand than Mac more. Better than me. Mac better. How can I kill? I cannot. Then he is again telling, oh, Indra. If you cannot do, and then he is praying to Krishna. Angare, I will explain tomorrow. Go, Prema. Take something in your heart from me and be happy. Follow these processes and try to overcome <coughs> by the endless births of birth, birth and death. This is not your first human form. It may be lost if you are following. If you are following. So you should follow that process and be happy. Gaur Prema. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. One thing. Oh, I want that you should learn. Jaja Gura Chandir Artik Sobha in full. Like, no, they don't do. Only one line they do and after that they finish. I want that in full. And then also Jaya Jaya Radha Krishna Yugalan. And then Tulsi Parikrama. Arti and finish. And then Prasadam. Very delicious Prasad. You can take to here and Chant Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. This is from Chandrika. Hare Said the poetry. This is Gopal's painting in the front. Hare Hare. Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga. 